<laughs> shout out to Liz. All right. Shout out to Liz. Shout out to Liz. All right. Here we go. Um, if a relationship is nonlinear, it is non-proportional, right? For sure. Um, if if it is linear, it it is either proportional or non-proportional. Okay. So uh, before we started recording this video, I said I want you to um, underline the words you don't know and circle the phrases that you think are important. Um, and then it says when the graph of a linear re relationship contains the origin, the relationship is proportional. So I would say. Is that my phone ringing? Yeah. No phone in the classroom, Brad. I can't tell if it was ringing or not. It kind of broke like it. Well, it just had a red light on it, so maybe. Yeah, but that doesn't mean mine was ringing. It could have been one of my neighbors. All right, so anyways, if it's important, I'll call back. So um, what words did you guys underline? So let's underline the words that we don't know. Yes. Yeah. Nonlinear. Nonlinear. That's a good one. So just so you guys know, nonlinear is not a line. What? Nonlinear means it's not a line. So when you graph it, it's not a line. So if I go to, I'll give you an example, quadratic equations. When they graph them, they kind of look like this. They look like a U, like X squared. So this is like y equals x squared. So that's not linear. Okay. So that's a good one. Anything else underlined there? Okay. Linear. Now, linear. Uh, linear is a good one because linear, that just means it's a straight line. So straight line. Now, whatever I write down, I want you guys to write down because the more you see it, the more you hear it the more likely you are to remember it come test time. So that is a straight line. That does not look like the word line. Let me fix that. It's really hard to write with these things. Straight line. And uh, here's a subtle thing. As we progress in our math, Mr. Adams will say linear if it's a straight line and then if i don't say if it's not if we graph something it's not a straight line you'll notice mr adams won't call it a line i'll i'll call it a curve so generally things that we graph mathematical relationships they're linear or not linear linear ones are a straight line and mr adams will always refer to them as a line and if you hear me say the curve same thing on a standardized test if they say graph the curve then you know it's not going to be a straight line okay Anyways, those are two words. Any other words? Um, okay, cool. So then I will tell you what's important. If it's in the origin, the relationship is proportional. Now, you, we're going to talk about proportional and non-proportional. Propor proportional just means, uh, and I'll preface this, um, that when I take the Y value and divide it by the X value, Anywhere on the graph, they're going to equal the same thing, except for the origin, okay? So if I pick any point on this line and I graph it, or I'm sorry, let me back up and word that properly. If I take any point on that graph and, you know, the X comma Y, and I take the Y and divide it by X, um, I'm going to get a proportion uh, throughout. In other words, the proportion will be the same for any point on that line between the y and the x. Non-proportional, they'll have a constant rate of change. But if you take the y value and divide it by the x value, it will not be constant. Okay? So let's get into this. Um, so it says the graph shows the sales tax charge based on the amount spent at a uh, video game store in a particular city. Does the graph show a linear relationship? Well, what did I circle in blue? Um, the origin, the relationship is proportional. Yeah. So does this go through the origin? Yeah. By the way, do you guys know what the origin is? What What is the point of the origin? Zero, zero. So because this is, first of all, you got to look for two things. If it's a straight line, good. And then if it goes through the origin, then we know it's proportional. So let's let's fill this out and see what we got. 
So it says the graph shows a linear proportional I'm going to run out of room relationship because it is a line that's the linear part and it contains the origin bless you so that that's the good thing about this uh this whole section we're just going to determine if something's proportional or non-proportional from a graphical perspective if it goes through the origin and it's a straight line it's proportional okay I'll give you guys a second to write that down, then we'll go to the next thing. This is a good time to take a drink of coffee. All right, let's move on before you kids get on my nerves. All right, next slide. Your turn. I'm going to give you guys 10 seconds to tell me. Okay. Okay. Determine if the following graphs are proportional or non-proportional. Don't say it. Write it down. Okay. On the count of three. What is the first one? Non-proportional. Why? Well, I can't help it. I said on the count of three, proportional or non-proportional. Then you guys start blurting stuff out. Um, it's not proportional. Yeah. Does not. Contain. Origin. Yeah. What about this one? Proportional. And so we would say it contains the origin. Yes. 